Hang on, I have to do today's letterboxed review. Dozens of people are waiting with bated breath for my thoughts on the 1996 Michael Bay movie, The Rock, finished today on the Peloton. Rating from yours truly, 3.5 out of 5, and I do click the heart. I click the heart to say I like this. Review or log? Yes, I will log it. Save. It's crazy that people write like full reviews on Letterboxd, man. Review by Lachlan Hibbert Wells. It's ridiculous. It directly led to the UK joining the war in Iraq. Seriously, it sounds insane, but it's actually true. And it's bested by many other Connery and Cage films of the 90s. That said, it has the line, Your best. Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen, which is up there for outdated sexist but somehow hilarious dialogues, along with classics like this one from The Long Kiss Goodnight. Hey, you got a nice body and all, and, and all, but those, you see them coming around the corner? You got time to comb your hair. Which is to say, I really wish we'd got the planned sequel about the secrets on the microfilm because it sounds vaguely like a version of National Treasure which also includes Sean Connery just brutally murdering dudes. What do you... Write a single line about the movie in three paragraph, three paragraphs of review about the film, supposedly? What are we talking about here? And then JFlix84 gave it a four and a half and says, best movie ever, in my top five at least. <laughs> four, four and a half stars for one of your favorite movies of all time? It's, I mean, I, I don't think it's one of the best movies of all time. I think that's insanity, but... They are a pro user. Favorite films. Do the Right Thing, Notorious, Goodfellas, Mulholland Drive, and then I can only assume number five would be The Rock. <laughs> Recent activity. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, five stars. The Talented Mr. Ripley, five stars. The Rock, four and a half stars. What the hell? It's your least favorite movie you watched in, in 2023. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, we, sorry, we've done this before. Everybody is entitled to the sweat of their own opinion. I'm not auditing anybody on Letterboxd. They're the ones who typed up the review, presumably to be read. 2012 with 1 billion views. This is Schlager. What is this, bro? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh. 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 I I I Okay, I mean, I got to I got to wait for some other instrumentation in here. Ooh. Greasy. Yo. Wait a s- hold on, can we start that one over? That's a hell of a bass line. I apologize, I was not familiar with your game. Can I get uh, electric guitar one and two? Dude! It's only that one part. It's like that two bars of the bass line where it goes plock mode. No, 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 this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For too long. For too long. Cause you make me feel like I was locked out of heaven by Bruno Mars. I was going to say, is Peloton coded? It definitely is. I knew I was in my 30s when I realized I actually liked Bruno Mars. And I know that everyone's going to say, yeah, no, 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 you like Silk Song? No, 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 no. I like Bruno Mars. I would never buy a Bruno Mars album, but I would also never leave the grocery store when the song comes on. He's mid as hell. You haven't listened to the radio in a while if you think he's the median artist on the radio. Every 
song that he makes that isn't a ballad is a slapper. Even Uptown Funk is good. The only problem is it got Illumination Studio coded. It got played like seven times an hour on every single radio station and in every movie ever made. And Dick Clark's rocking New Year's Eve for a decade straight. All oh, right, I forgot I shouldn't do Bandle because I'm going to do Bandle with Apollo. But whatever. That's fine. He can do it. Dude, that bass line goes insane, though. You, like, you could sample this bass line and put it in a song that's actually good. Right here. Maybe take out some of the claps. It's a little corny, but... And we, we definitely need a little bit more. And we definitely need to cut the hay out of it as well. But it's low in the mix once you put the vocals in. The hay is not hype. He knows how to funk it up, bro. It does sound a little bit like Muse, honestly. Hey, Anel. I'm going to a Ravnica remastered draft on Friday. Thoughts? You see that video of the, um, the lady on the BBC dunking on the 13-year-old kid for beating Tetris? And she said maybe he should go outside and learn how to throw a ball against the side of his house or something like that. Now, Tetris has long been touted as a video game that just can't be beaten because it just goes on and on. Well, 13-year-old American Willis Gibson has technically yes. proven that wrong. He beat the original Nintendo version of the game by reaching such a high level that the coding froze that left the program unable to generate any more falling blocks. As a mother, I would just say step away from the screen, go outside, get some fresh air. Beating Tetris is not a life goal. Seeing the reaction uh, to that, all I can say is I hope you have fun. I'm not getting myself involved in that kind of controversy. <laughs> the gamers have got shooters, bro. I'm not wading into something that controversial. I hope you draft Jace the Mind Sculptor. I don't know if he's in Ravnica Remastered. I don't know if he's... I, I, I'm leaving myself open to all kinds of assaults here. Jace was, a, Jace was imprisoned by the Phyrexians during Ravnica. He doesn't know. I don't... Brother, listen. I'm doing what I can with what I got, okay? Golden Globes thoughts? I don't watch that shit. That's my thoughts on the Golden Globes. All of these things going viral are a, a psyop to get you angry on social media and get you to spend more time there. It tricks your primordial brain into thinking you're all pulling in the same direction for a cause. When applied to something meaningful, it can be beautiful. When applied to something like cyberbullying Joe Coy for throwing the writers under the bus of the Golden Globes monologue, you have to take a step back and go 70s mode on that and say, who cares? It's just not, it's not in our domains. If you're in Hollywood, I'm sure you're in like, you know, WhatsApp groups where you're like, can you believe he threw the writers under the bus? But uh, listen... We're out here, I'm working at the steam factory in Dayton, Ohio. It's not part of my domain. Were there any justice in the world, I would not know of its existence. Sap crashes on my phone. Dude, I was, uh, so I, I finished watching um, Michael Bay's magnum opus, The Rock, on my Peloton ride this morning. Then I said, you know, I got 20 minutes left in my ride, so I just pivoted. I said, let's watch an episode of The Simpsons. I made a grievous error. I used the Peloton browser to click on the episode of The Simpsons. Everything froze up. The screen froze. The, uh, the metrics froze. The, the only thing that was still moving were the pedals. And I said, okay, that's fine. You know, I could just hop off a little early today. Hop off the bike, look at my metrics. It says the ride is still going on. Took a shower. Hard cycled my bike, turned it on, turned it off. It still says the ride is going on. I don't know, like, it, I, I might wake up tomorrow and they're going to give me, like, a, a Presidential Medal of Honor or something like that. They're going to be like, he's been riding the bike for 24 hours straight. 
Let me see if the robot figured me out today. It didn't. The, the robot does not say that I finished a ride. It's because it's, as far as they know, I'm still on it. You're boosting your stats? This is the worst part is that it's actually like cratering my stats. It's going to take my average wattage down to like, you know, two. Well, this basically couldn't have gone worse. <laughs> is beef the most overrated meat uh, on the planet? Discuss. Chicken? Nobody rates chicken at all. Everybody takes it for granted. The idea that chicken is, is rated is uh, it's a beef psyop. Turkey? Mm, turkey's an interesting one. I'm willing to give turkey the benefit of the doubt because it is the, the real form of turkey is consumed only uh, once per year. Saying beef is too vague? No, it's not. It all comes from the same animal. I know what I said. Pork? Pork, you, you got me twisted up, brother. Pork is, in my opinion, pork is probably the most underrated meat because apparently everybody grew up eating well-done oven baked pork chop pork chops with no sauce or anything on top not even a glaze um and they think that pork is designed to be uh dry and taste like a shoe that is not the case that is the health department doing yet another psionic operation on an entire generation of north american chefs i mean with pork i do i even need to count the ways a rose by any other name would would smell as sweet my brother you got well-cooked pork chops with the bone in. Not well done, well-cooked. Bacon. Oh, I don't like bacon. Uh, I watch anime. Okay, chashu, also delicious. You've got um, ham. Possibly, in my opinion, ham, one of the most underrated meats, especially from a lunch meat context, because for some reason, people are like, ham is too basic. I hate ham. And then they get turkey and chicken that have been molded in the facsimile of ham. Those are false idols. Ham is the OG, okay? All the best Korean barbecues. Also pork. Absolutely true. Ham fried rice. Spam, I'm going to assume, is mostly pork. But the science is still a little bit ambiguous. I'm saying it, man. Italian sausage, so true. Me personally, I wouldn't say I'm anti-beef. I just, someone, I mean, I guess it's just expensive to, to create a cow. But at some point, someone let the beef farmers get high on their own supply. Ground beef? No thanks. I'd rather have Italian sausage, honestly. Only exception for me personally, if I'm having a hard taco, I would, you're not going to make that with Italian sausage. It's just going to, it's going to hit kind of weird. But I don't know, maybe I'm, I need to open my eyes to the possibility. Steaks? Sure. But there's like two or three good cuts of steaks that when you're eating them you're like this is delicious it just sucks that it was like 75 dollars per steak all the other steaks when you're eating them you're like oh this is okay but i really wish i sprung for the ribeye like it's it, it the, the beef road is fraught with regret i like lamb i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say shit about lamb in the for or the aft direction Lamb centrists make me sick. It could be worse. I could be one of those uh, guys who's like, I'm not like you. I'm an adventurous eater. Oh, you're getting the classic burger? I'll take the lamb burger, please. How would I like it done? How would I like it done? Um, 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 well done, please. I don't want any pink in the middle. Shit tastes exactly the same. No, no, it's gamey. It's gamey. No one ever knows what that means. As far as I'm concerned, when people say it's gamey, it just means it doesn't taste like beef. Is it true that in... The United Kingdom, all Chinese food comes with french fries. No, no, okay. But when you say no, I believe you're making a lie of admission. If I forced you to use more words while answering without speaking a lie, well, okay, it's an option. You, you can get it served on rice or on chips. Is that is, I'm just asking you to be honest. That's all I've ever asked of you. Is that fucking real like if you went to an average chinese like a median chinese restaurant in the united kingdom they would be like do you want this served on rice or on french fries they're different no they're the french fries chips whatever not at an average place but at a takeaway okay i forgot that in the united kingdom they call the same thing two different words sometimes oh that's your problem you were asking for good beers you should have asked for our best ales okay so 
listen, I don't know why you're skirting the question. Restaurants and takeaways in, in the rest of the world are the same thing. So as far as I'm concerned, the answer is yes. The average Chinese restaurant will ask you if you want your beef broccoli served on rice or on french fries. Stop spamming with question marks. Tell me yes or no. They won't ask. Okay, motherfucker. Is it on the menu as you can make a selection for this? Why are you getting into the semantics, you barristers and solicitors? If you wanted it like that, you could ask for it. Do, is it a common occurrence to, is it oppie, oppie, is it or isn't a common occurrence for people to get their Chinese food served on top of french fries in the United Kingdom? It's not that common, okay. It happens, but it's not that common. If you had to guess, what would you say the proportion is in uh, people that get it served on rice versus people that get it served on french fries? 5%? Okay, they beat the allegations. I'm not going to go to bat for, for 5% of the population in any capacity. 5% of, of any large enough group is insane. We all know this to be true. 0% of restaurants will ask you, but 5% of customers might ask. That is crazy. I mean, listen, we live in a society. I do want to say, if you went to a Chinese restaurant in North America and ordered, you know, sweet and sour pork, and you said, can I get that served on french fries instead of rice? People would look at you like you had lost your mind. They, depending on the restaurant, they could probably do it for you, but people would be like, what the hell? It's, it's simply a thing that's not done here. <laughs> Most places don't serve it on top, it comes separately. I've learned a lot about the United Kingdom. Every time you thought you were dodging the question, you were actually unveiling uh, a, a really hidden truth about yourselves as a society. You guys are in love with semantics, I've realized. It's the spirit of the question. You're not on trial, okay? I understand you take a lot of heat on social media, especially in the culinary realm. You knew the spirit of the question immediately. For some reason, you're addicted to dodging it. When people get the french fries as a side, at the Chinese restaurant, do they pour the sauced food on top of it? <laughs> You're like, oh fuck, he got me. I didn't think he was gonna ask the logical follow-up question. No, because they're not fries, they're chips. Listen, you Oxford, Cambridge graduate motherfucker. Going to a pub that's 500 years old and being like, can I have a pint of carling? Thinking it's, it ends a air of aristocracy motherfucker. Sweden sour chicken balls on top of french fries ass. Can you just answer the damn question? I'm, I'm your friend. I'm from Canada. We're on the same team, okay? Can you <laughs> just work with me here? It's a straight cut chip. I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> we have chicken balls here too. We're, we're a chicken ball nation. Americans would never understand. No, 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 come on. You gotta give me something that I, I can work with, bro. I'm just rolling. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> got me stroking my damn head. You got me rubbing my yellow leg, you son of a bitch. Please stop talking about rubbing your yellow leg. I don't get it. I just saw that it was, it was funny and people were laughing about it. I know it's the meme of the... It's the, everybody's standing in line conforming and then the dude is peeking out and then the text is normally like, just making sure I don't fit in. <laughs> but then it's been co-opted as cause that dude is yellow and he's, it looks like he's rubbing his yellow leg. So I get it. He's gonna ignore bringing up chicken balls. It's not a hard thing to understand. I, let me back up my British brethren here. I don't know, it sounds like, to be honest with you, they probably do serve it in the rest of the British Isles as well. Imagine a chicken nugget, but spherical instead of like more of a geometric plane. Uh, and the volume is very batterous. It's, I would say it's about the same size as a chicken nugget. It has half as much chicken inside of it. And like, you can do the math on the on the batter. It's probably got like three times more batter. And the batter is not crispy. 
It's crispy on the outside and then like almost like a donut hole on the inside. And on the absolute center is chicken. Why would you eat it? This is a stupid question, not to be uh, derogatory. Why would someone eat a deep fried piece of meat? I don't know. Ask every culture that invented it independently throughout world history because it fucking tastes good. It activates something in your brain that's like, this is beneficial for my survival. Tell them it's popcorn chicken, but it's not popcorn chicken. That's not fair. <laughs> it's more like, because popcorn chicken is crispy, like popcorn. This is like, it's more like a corn dog batter. I don't order it, by the way, but I did when I was a kid. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's, it's like takoyaki. But for some reason, culturally speaking, Whenever Americans go to Japan and they get takoyaki, they're like, I'm living my best life. If they go to the UK and they see chicken takoyaki, they're like, what the hell is that? Chicken balls? Also, takoyaki, good. Easily one of the most overrated Japanese foods. Don't at me. It's good. It's good, okay? But whenever people are like, oh, you gotta try it. I'm like, listen, brother. It's basically just a chicken ball with octopus in it. <laughs> He is taking a dump in the mother. He sat on the dull toilet, but no poop came out. You can't see me, but I'm nodding right now. Mm -hmm. People nod, nodders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand. We're, I, I should say uh, we are doing the dulls today. We're doing a mm -hmm. dull off, but not dull. in the way that, it, <laughs> that we could rephrase that. Yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> Apollo We're, also plays the dulls. Yes. Uh, often. You have a different smattering than me, though. I, I do a I lot do. of pop culture dolls. You do a lot of the, uh, I would call them the more academically minded dolls. The, the wordles, the dual dolls, the quartals. You're yeah. basically like doing a Rubik's Cube is not enough for you. You have like a Rubik's Cube where every time you turn it, it also has like Sudoku puzzle numbers on it. <laughs> Yeah, no, or just those advanced Sudoku. You've seen those Sudoku thumbnails on YouTube, and you, I never actually watched the videos, but they're always recommended. They're like, this Sudoku's almost impossible, and it's just an empty board. There's no numbers. And they're like, well, can't I you just, this. I was gonna say, can't you just write, <laughs> write one, two, own. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? No, they usually have like these weird, like other, like that's not just the normal Sudoku. They have like all the normal boxes, but then there's like these other freak boxes they draw on top of the boxes. Oh. That it's, I, it's wild, dude. I used to like, 17 years ago, uh, I used to do Sudoku puzzles on my lunch break at my work. And literally 100% of the time, I would be having fun and I would get to like the last three boxes and I would realize that I had messed up somewhere and I would just close the book and go back to work. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think I, I gave up on the Sudoku puzzles in like high school, you know? Got like one oh, of those Sudoku okay. books as like an off gift, and you're like, oh, this is funny. Do like three or four, and you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play video games. I didn't realize I was dealing with a, a seasoned professional. No, I said <laughs> I did four. Why did you <laughs> four ever Sudoku? Oh, okay. For I, I thought you meant like four in a row. Four books of like four. No, four no, books. Like, well, I just meant I meant four puzzles. You know, every time I go on a cruise, I still see like a, a different person each time, but a, a middle-aged woman or older doing a book of word searches. Like you, you lose internet access like three hours into the cruise and it only comes back the next time you get to port. Um, and there's always someone walking around with like one of those dollar store books of, of word searches. Not crosswords, by the way, word searches. Like the, like the, like the elementary school like grid where you're looking for yeah, words yeah. and all the letters that's very funny <laughs> i was i was mostly laughing at the phrase like uh every time i go on a cruise just like it's very funny to me like everyone i know like you who's gone to multiple cruises is like 60 plus years old i know we are often pretty young versus the norm yeah I mean, but everyone's I waiting I, I have you seen on social i guess now you deleted twitter off your phone which is a very good decision yeah but there's like this cruise that's like 18 months, they go like around almost the whole world. And people are like, I'm so invested in all the drama that's gonna happen on this cruise. And I'm like, oh, there's no. no drama, bro. They're getting fed every night, they're getting drunk and they're, you know, playing bingo. They're, they're all gonna be fine. There's probably know, gonna man. be a couple outbreaks of foodborne illness, but there's gonna be a couple outbreaks of foodborne illness 
where you live too. I don't know, man. Getting a bunch of old normies together for 18 months trapped on a ship is like, that's a recipe for drama, I think. Uh, I don't know. You go to port sometimes. <laughs> yes. You go, you go to know. port. I think that just people, I mean, online people have their own kind of drama, right? Just yeah, totally yeah, different yeah. kind of thing. Same result, different source. But I don't know, man. Uh, people who like exist in the world normally, like go to work and nine to five and hang yeah, out with yeah. friends at the bar, they get their own drama going. Man. It's definitely, like, definitely also true. Like, did you hear what she said, he said constantly? Oh, I was waiting for you to tell me what he said, she said. Well, I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, it's because we're on, we're streaming right now. Right, yeah. yeah, he might find out. All right, all right. I got, I don't know what you want to start with, but I got Poke Doku open. I figured. You want to start with, po I figured we start with just Wordle, but I mean, if you want to. You know, actually, Doku. I think that makes more sense. Yeah, that's, you're going, you're on level nine already, man. Like, I, I recommend picking a good word with some common letters to start because this this is this gets challenging if you uh i know exactly where i'm going with this one i'm gonna go here oh got one and two that feels good mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is hard yeah bottom right I got, I got a lot of letters bottom right and it's confusing me mm, really yeah I don't, I don't understand the combination here i want to guess this but that's not right so this has got to be like, like this. Is it? <clears throat> Doesn't work. Oh, I thought I was, I was happy for you. Get ready for this. People are going to be, <laughs> I guess it anyway, going crazy in the streets for this one. Son of a. <sighs> okay. So then we know it ends in this. Oh, that's all. Okay. That's a hard word. That's kind of a hint, but. Oh! I've been owned. How many guesses do you have left? I have five. Oh, no, me too. This sounds like you got a lot more information. <laughs> I have just secured the bottom right word finally. Okay. Mm is oh. this really a word? I'll guess it. Top left oh, must be this. That's not, that's not the word. Oh, it's this. Okay, I did it, but I, it took all my guesses. So if you can get it in less than all of the guesses, you will, you will defeat me. We got some work to do here. Okay, so you, <laughs> it's, I'm working on bottom right right now. That one, that one took me a bit, and I kind of threw on that one, for sure. It's Timor. No, nope, it's... Honestly, looking at the letters you have, I think you can beat me. You got to get all three of these guesses in a row, but I think you can. No, you, 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 you have you have two, you have two free guesses. Actually, this one is so the top left should be so easy. It should be like that, but it's not that because there's no R. So I can only assume that it's French. <laughs> this isn't. I'm, I'm not Ludwig. Right? I wouldn't do that to you. Which, I wouldn't give you French chord. Yeah, don't even get me started, okay? Don't even get me started. Mm. How I wouldn't about do that to you. Ahoy's. Greeting. Ahoy's, matey. When you're greeting multiple people on the deck of a ship. Uh -huh. um, you know what? I, I need an, a vowel for the bottom left. I'm going to say that the bottom left, in keeping with the theme, is barge. Okay. Okay. That was a good guess. You need to get all three of these in a row now to, to beat me. Which this, I think you can do. The bottom left is Blair. As in oh. something a horn does on a ship. Well done, well done. Now the top left is Shog. <laughs> Chogle. You should have this, honestly. Ghoul! There you Ghoul. go. <laughs> And then, oh, no overlaps whatsoever. Now, that's, you, I've got two guesses for this Andy. You do, but you, in order to win the round, you need to get on uh, this one. Okay, in order to not lose, I, I would need to just solve it at all. I see. I don't, I don't want to give you any hints here, but this I is actually a very that. interesting situation. That so, you're in I mean, now. I'm looking at it. We've already got 
two vowels. So that's probably sorted. There was a band called Tokyo Hotel, and it was spelled like that. Uh, they don't, they're not going to take it, so that's probably not it. It can't be Tokyo, though, because we've used a K. It has to use one of these unused letters. It's Topi. It's Tepid. No, <laughs> but hang on. It's, I got to back this son of a gun up. It is timid. No, tim, tipid, tift, tift, tivid, vivid, viv, vivic. Day one, timid, ti, ti, tido. This is just... Good content. <laughs> Digit. T. <laughs> T. <laughs> That's not using like any of the letters that I know. It could be to. Is this how you teach Luna? Mm. <laughs> Usually it's a little easier than this. She's been doing math lately though. And I'm, oh. I'm always surprised she's been watching this show called Number Blocks where they like the numbers have personalities. So I'll be like, what's seven plus seven? She's like 14, and he likes to skateboard. I'm like, oh, okay. I apologize. Damn. I didn't know. See, this, it's, it's hard for you to secure the victory because they won't let me guess something that's not a real word. Yes. If um, they let me just, because I, I want to advance things, but they won't let me. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, I mean, I, I could tell you the situation that you're in, but it would be a pretty massive hint. Yeah, that's okay. Don't. I, I, I've got faith in myself. You, you, you are in a classic wordle conundrum. You're you like, I need to make content. You're in it. But, mm, okay. I see what he's saying. It only uses the letters we've already got. It's Teoto. Toit? Toit? <laughs> Toit? He always takes my hints the wrong way. <laughs> and I don't. As I'm used say. to everything being a trick answer. Everything's no, a I riddle. Know. It's not that people are like, oh, there's water in the fridge. And I'm like, let me guess. Our house is underwater. You know, We're flooded. For, for, the, for, the, for the advancement of the program, I will say that there are, you, you have a 50-50 right now. Okay. There are two words that, and you can't possibly know which one that it is. Tie dod. Topi. Topic. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. We would have tied, but my dumb ass wrote <sighs> toxic first. Wow. I'm still impressed yeah. you could think of two words on that one. I was, I was losing it. It um, will surprise you how good I am at, at these games. At guess the game? Yeah. I... Ooh, this, I think there's only two things this game. I got it in one. <laughs> Ah, oh. I'm jumping up and down in my chair and stomping my feet like. Well, I'll I'll think uh, out loud then. I just in got a eyes, wrestling action figure. In my eyes, my brain immediately went God of War two. Okay. But then also it was like could be Last of Us because of the snow. Blood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I feel like it's 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 one of those one of those two. But I feel like they've done Last of Us before is the issue, you know. And I think they've done God of War before too. In my head, I was thinking this could be like a Resident Evil Village type deal, but I never played that one, so I don't know. Is there yeah, there's snow either. in it? Um, Did you play it? That's the one. That's the one that takes place in Romania, right? With the tall lady. Yes, tall lady. Which one's eight? Like a, is eight out? That that is eight. Village is eight. Biohazard oh, because it's got three Roman numerals. Yeah, it gets yep. B I I I. B I I yeah. That, that's yeah, yeah okay. All right, all right. Biohazard as well. No one ever really realizes that Resident Evil Seven is called Biohazard. Um, oh, I'm gonna look like an idiot. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna guess Last of Us. It wasn't Last of Us. Oh, the second image makes it obvious. I feel like was I right? It was a village. It was village. Yeah. Was, sorry, I had to marinate you. Number two. I mean, you did a good job. It's it's what I'm best at. <laughs> <laughs> But I honestly, yeah. I thought this was, um, Chad, 
like, keep me honest here. I honestly thought I was guessing Resident Evil 7. Like, I believe I typed in Resident Evil VII. Right. That takes place in Louisiana, man. What the hell? You think it snows down oh, there? Oh, <laughs> that is the... I played that one. Yeah, I played that one, man. Oh, but I clicked on Village. I typed Resident Evil 7, but I clicked oh, on Village. Oh, no. Skill difference. We, we definitely would have tied then, because I number two is obvious as hell. I, for this, I would have said Devil May Cry 3, for sure. I would have been lost. Oh, no, dude. Mm. Um, I'm, I wish it would... Dude, yesterday I nailed it. It was, uh, not to give you like a hint on what it isn't today, but it was the finals yesterday. Oh, oh that one, that's that tough. Real quick. Yeah, let me go. Let me go here. I don't even have a second guess yet. I have to. I have to talk out loud. <laughs> okay. I believe I that it is a PC game that is from more recent times. <laughs> ah, ah, ah! Oh. Did you get it? I can't believe that's not it. Because I thought that... Listen, I got to mute for a second. Okay, okay. It's not first person. It's not third person. I figured it had to be like overhead. What? And then it had to be like... Oh. I, fantasy was an element that was obviously in here. Oh, but it's it not... You're right. That. It's not an RPG. It's not an RPG. It's not that. I thought it was that for sure. Okay, I'm back. I wonder if you guessed what I guessed. And Did, thought, was and your thought... guess um, a critically acclaimed game? Maybe not really. All right, kinda. we did not guess the same thing. <laughs> I only have two greens, and one of them is the engine, and I'll tell you what it is in Unity. That doesn't help anyone. Yeah, all right, all right, fair enough. <laughs> that, that helps no one. Oh, uh, I have the I have a very key piece of information that is very weird, and now I'm just like, what is it? Okay. I can't, I thought I fucking had it with my other guess. I felt so confident. It's crazy. This is made in Unity but it's not an indie game. That shocked me as well. I have the genre, or at least one yes. of the genres. Well, sorry, I have a theme. I don't have a genre. I also have a theme. and a, I, have, well, I, have, yeah, I have a theme and a genre, but neither of them are green. They're just yellow. Mm. I, I need to throw this out here to see if it's, if it's published by the same company. I know this guess is wrong. Okay, fair enough. Did you use your one-time clue? I did. Okay, and it I'm gave me the. Well. well, no, it gave me... Uh, one very good clue, I should say. <laughs> I already knew that. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Did it give you the game engine? It gave me game mode. Oh, game mode. Oh. Dude, I guessed oxygen not included. I felt like a That's god. That's an insanely I like, I good guess. It. I got it. It wasn't right, and I was pissed. I guess Baldur's Gate 3. That's isometric. I know, but I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> I don't know what this could be, quite frankly. I my ass was like, is this Kingdom? And then they don't have Kingdom. Kingdom is a very... great guess. It's also a great guess. I'm. I think we both have to give up. I don't think we know this. It's totally accurate battle simulator. Nope. I think they already, they already did that. <laughs> you got it, didn't you? <laughs> you no, son but of a gun. So funny what it is. <laughs> it's Max Payne two. It's Max Payne 3. I got to see this for myself. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to fucking Payne? throw up, dude. You're going to throw up. Wait, okay, listen. <laughs> so apparently it's Super Auto Pets. Uh, I want to take some issue with this. First off, in what world does this have a fantasy theme? Except in the literal sense that uh, it's a fantastic game and also animals doing stuff. Oh, because there's a dragon in it? And it's not indie? How is it it's not just, indie, bro? It's supposed to be indie. Yeah, that must be a mistake. Theme kids? That this, it's like a non-theme. <laughs> Fantasy comedy kids. What are you talking about? It's an insult, bro. <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. No, they, they, it's, it's a... It, there was false information in there. It should have said indie. I don't know why. It's it the most indie, indie game of all time. They got card and board game. game in there, but they don't have they don't have indie. Come on, that's funny. That is dude. really that's funny. Real good. I lost my shit when I saw that. Uh, total points, uh, three hundred and fifteen. Honestly, not that bad. I'll take it. Uh, getting even one would have made me happy. I think. But the punishment has not stopped yet. That's fine. 
movie to movie to movie then, huh? That's what I that's what I want to see, especially because today it's two popcorn classics. The Lighthouse is, and Austin oh, Powers oh, Gold oh. Member. I know the actors in The Lighthouse. Well, I know one of No, I know them both. So if you know the actors in The Lighthouse, you should start from Austin. You can try the daily challenge and then click the arrow and you can start from Austin Powers. So that you can take the movie you know less about and try to narrow it down to the two actors you know from The Lighthouse. That's fair, because I only know one actor in Austin Powers. You do not want to follow Mike Myers on... I don't know, maybe you do. Ah, okay. And then cool. we'll, go, we'll go on, on, t- on time. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, good luck. Thank you. Okay. Now, there must be an easy connection, don't get me wrong. Um... We could take it a little. I mean, Tom Cruise is in this. John Travolta is in this. Kevin Spacey, Danny DeVito. The guy from Hero. I think... um, Let's be cool, man. Let's go. I don't know why I'm not clicking. (laughs) Let's go Tom Cruise. Willem Dafoe should be so easy to... Or Robert Pattinson. This guy's been in a lot of movies. An ensemble movie starring you is Magnolia. Magnolia. At least effective cast list of all time. I made a huge mistake. Philip Baker Hall... Takes us to The Rock, which I watched today, so that's plus one point. Obviously, there's going to be huge overlaps here. David Morse takes us to 12 Monkeys. Time! Holy cow. Time! How'd you do that? Hello, can you hear me? I did it. (laughs) How'd you do that? I, um, I... How'd you do that? so I was like, okay, Austin Powers, yeah. right? I'm, I look like that. So I was like, you know what? Michael Caine's in a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> and I got Michael Caine, and I was like, he's in Kingsman. Oh, Samuel Jackson is in Kingsman. I'm That's in true. the Avengers verse. I'm in the Avengers verse. Tom Holland, No Way Home. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. Mm-hmm. You're not in 12 Monkeys with me? No. Oh, Chad just told me the fast one. I, I, I could have. What's that? Okay, don't too. don't don't give it to me yet. I gotta I gotta get this for myself. Okay. 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 You go. It's easy, bro. So we go. You just gotta figure it out. What the hell am I doing in Twelve Monkeys, man? You go Brad Pitt from Twelve Monkeys. Just give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> You're too Cine, Cine too nerdle pilled, I think. I think I'm 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 not connecting the way I should connect. I think that's fair to say. We go Babylon, 2022. Takes you to Margot Robbie. Takes you to the Big Short. <laughs> From the Big Short, listen. You go um, Christian <laughs> Bale, who is in Equilibrium, with Willem Dafoe. Uh, no, that's Sean Bean. My mistake. That's William Fickner. Okay, we go William Fickner. We take that to The Dark Knight. Great movie. No, no, no. We take that to Heat, another great movie, which has Willem Dafoe. No, that's William Fickner again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> this, is, this is funny. We go right? Robert De Niro to Showtime, 2002, to Eddie Murphy. To, wait, where am I trying to get to again? All right, no, 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 okay. To I Spy, 2003, 2002. Famke Janssen, Golden Eye, uh-huh. 1995. Alan Cumming. He muted, Chet, but he's still, he's still going. I'm still here. X2, X-Men United. Am I unmuted now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm still going. We're going to go... Are you, like, intentionally avoiding Avengers now? Because that's what I did? No. I'm just (laughs) waiting for it to reveal itself to me. 
<laughs> I feel like I saw a bunch of Avengers action. No, no, no. I know, I know where to go. I need to get to the Matrix. If I can get to the Matrix, it's easy. Who the fuck's in the Matrix other than Keanu? Lawrence Fishburne, who's in John Wick 2 with Keanu Reeves, who's in John Wick 1 with Willem Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> It's easy, man. Okay, so you go. It's so easy. It's actually so simple. Hugh the Jackman. Day the Earth stood still. Right? So, uh, I got to get there first, okay? <laughs> Hugh Jackman. And then just take him back. To Chappie. That was not a good choice. Yo, ninjas in this movie? Does he floss? <laughs> um... To Sigourney Weaver, who's been in everything. Now, I'm trying to get to the Matrix. So you're going to go Cedar Rapids. She's in everything. Let me pick this one. Bro, this has a star-studded cast. <laughs> to Kurtwood Smith. To Robocop. That was a mistake. To <laughs> Ray Wise. To Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. To David Bowie. To The Prestige. To Christian Bale, Hugh Jackman, Michael Caine. These are all the actors we started with, man. <laughs> oh. Just click on Michael Caine, man. you get that. Michael Caine. <laughs> Wait, how'd you do this one again? Michael Caine. Uh, that, apparently, you can literally get here in one from here is what Chad from said. Here. I was like, what? And oh, because Robert know. Pattinson is in Tenet. Oh, so true. The lighthouse. Okay. Time? Nice. <laughs> Six minutes and 44 seconds. I, I forgot guess. Michael Caine's in Tenet. He shows he eats three things off of a plate, and then he collects his $1.8 million check <laughs> and goes home. And I, I love that for him. I'm losing it because people are saying Michael Caine isn't in Austin Powers. Excuse me. He's not in Austin Powers 1. He's in Austin Powers 3. He plays Nigel Powers. It's, he's like the third build actor in the film because Mike Myers himself plays 20 characters. Oh, he, pl he plays the dad? He does. Wow, I forgot about There's that. There's two things I can't stand in this world. Intolerance of other people's cultures and the Dutch. <laughs> Is he saying you got to go get your mojo back? Mm, no, that's that, that that's the point. plot of Austin Powers too. Oh, I, just, I kind of hear it in that accent, my mojo. <laughs> it's like all I know about that movie. He has his mojo back by Austin Powers three. That's how he gets uh, Foxy Cleopatra as played by Beyonce. That's the one with Fat Bastard. Excuse me, Fat Bastard's in the third movie as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in. He well, he's on the first one. Don't get it twisted. In the third one, he is in Japan. He's a sumo wrestler. He loses, his, the, oh, he loses his weight, too. He loses he? the weight. He, he goes on the subway diet. Yeah. Uh, that didn't age well. No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was already a fat bastard before, but Ooh. now you really are a fat bastard. If you haven't seen him, you got to I'm I'm demoralized. I am genuinely shocked, but then at watching you do that, I'm less shocked now mm. that, that that happened. I'm kind um, of not good at movie to movie. You, I think your brain's not wired for this. I think that you, you, you want to find the stuff that's not obvious, you know? I like, um, yes, exactly. I like Cine to Nerdle when someone gives you a data point and is like, bounce off of this. When it's like, mm -hmm. narrow down a subset until it's as narrow as possible, it's not in my natural skill set. Well, we can move on to one that I think we might both be a little bad at. Okay, okay. Uh, po Poke Doku. Mm, okay, you're gonna rinse me in this one, and that's fine. So, so you say that, but la I've only, I played Poke Doku all of like three times, and I was like, I'm ass at this, and I stopped. So maybe you might still be worse than that. But do you know what Hai Sui is? Uh, I do. I good. That's the that's the 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 game that came out before the last, the one that was different that I forgot the name of. I'm sending it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go for the hard one. I'm just gonna try to get as many as possible. Um, I do. I do know this one. I actually many. today's is not uh, that bad, bro. Today's is not that bad. <laughs> oh, please, uh, please. Oh, this is. I love. But this. he has bite, dude. <laughs> he has. He has. Li 
what? Oh, no, he has Lick, and Lick is a ghost type. Oh, <laughs> brother. <laughs> did you think that Gengar was ghost dark? How did you derive that from <laughs> such a <laughs> small data point? Because you would think that Gengar, you, you would think of Gengar as the only ghost type because you're Gen 1 pilled. And then. Yes, that's exactly just... true. No, nah, he's, he's ghost poison, man. At the bright side, he is the final ev evolution of himself. True. I guess I'll just take that one just as a freebie. Why am I struggling with flying dark? I feel like I shouldn't be. What the hell is the Dunspar's three segment? Uh, it's from the newest game. Why does it sound like it's named after an episode of Neon Genesis Evangelion? Wait, and what's the Dun Sparse? Uh, the Tor Dun, the Dun. Tornadus Incarnate? What is oh, yeah. going I, even, on? Even I don't even know a lot about those, man. <laughs> oh, this is this one is easy. I got this one. Are you telling me this guy's? I gotta go again. There's no way this guy's not Ghost Dark. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, what did you guess now? Like dust skull, dust clops? Nah, he's mono ghost. I'm pretty sure. Mono ghost? He's a mummy. <laughs> That's dark as hell, man. Uh. Um. Why? I, you got flying dark. Why am I struggling there? This is a because this is one of the highest DPS uh, Pokemon of its type in Pokemon Go, and. Uh. It can also serve as a decent dark type Pokemon, but you would rather run like a I don't know, probably a, a Guard Chomp or something instead, or maybe even a, a dark pilled um, Tyranitar, but maybe, featuring Crunch. Maybe. But I actually have no idea what a dark ghost could be, man. Maybe There's instead of thinking of ghosts that are dark, I should think of dark things that are ghosts. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is the only. Oh no, there's there, there apparently there's more of Ghost Dark. There's not many. There's only there's very few. So it it is difficult. Uh oh yeah. Urshifu single strike G Max. Oh, oh, I think one of my favorite Pokemon is actually works. Oh, wait, one of my favorite Pokemon is literally Dark Flying. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Oh, what's Was the it? name though? Oh, I can't say. Uh oh, it's this. It's this. Yeah, I'm so stupid, actually. Okay, and then and then and then this. Okay. Wait, that doesn't count? Okay, I got eight out of nine, apparently. Which one of these is further evolved? <laughs> is it the one that's grown a pebble, or is it the one that has walked out of the pebble? <laughs> or is it, oh, it's got to be this one, bro. It's got to be this one. Because it's got a pebble and legs. Yes! <laughs> I, got, I think I got six. That's pretty good. I got, I'm stunned. Oh, oh man. Mm. What the... Oh, Sableye is the other one. Yeah, there's literally only two for Dark Ghost. What's, what's the non-Sableye one? Spiritomb. Oh, I was kind of thinking it's like a mummy. It, oh, it is a coffin. That's right. No, no, you're thinking of uh, Cafragrius. <laughs> I hate this fucking franchise, man. <laughs> Which one is the other one? Uh, Do Spiritomb? Spiritomb. Oh, it's the it's weird the purple spiral. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was fun, though. What did, what did you get? the best what did you I've get? ever done. Oh, I got eight. Okay. I got to the bandle. You did the bandle already? I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Bandle. I'm what going to tell me? you that you, for a while, you're going to think you won't know it, but I'm promising you you have heard it for sure. I mean, with a billion views on yes. from 2012, I should have, I should definitely have heard this before. <laughs> well, okay, I didn't expect that. And the bass what goes the crazy. Hell? The bass goes insane today. Oh, this is this. This is new. Feel the noise. Not that obviously. Every time I hear this though. Holy shit. I don't know it from this first one. Did we, how, how, how long did it take? Uh, three, I think. Maybe four. Okay. Here's the pace. This intro is wild. The bass is insane.
Then they start going, huh. Huh. This has I'm lots need... of little vocal ad libs in it. Yeah, I'm going to need some guitar here. That did not. I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna go and skip that. And go right to four. And that guitar just kind of did what the bass was doing. You will. I. I. At worst, you're gonna get it from the vocals, in my opinion. It sounds so familiar now. Oh come on. I'm gonna need the vocals. I think. Oh. Hello. Is this Sia? Uh, Apollo's Hello. doing the bandle. Hello, Apollo's do, everyone, Apollo's doing the bandle. He thinks it's Sia. Uh, thinks it's Sia, bro. Is this Titanium? I never heard of the artist for the bandle. <laughs> what? I mean, I've never heard one of their songs before. This was the first time. Oh. That is actually oh. one of the most, in I believe you, <laughs> and it's insane. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so Justin coded though. That's very Justin coded. <laughs> I stopped watching TV and hearing the radio and going into buildings like over. Oh. <laughs> I don't actually know this song. Really? I, obviously. Yeah, I I I got it from the hint cuz like okay, Paradise. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, but I actually I don't know this Mr. Mars song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Oh, it's, the, I think that, it's the space like, guy. Like I think I've heard you that got, in the background at a grocery store maybe, Yes. but I would have no way of knowing 100%. it was him, you know. I mean, Bruno Mars is wave, no, because every you know about Metazoo. What I don't re respect, they load a new ad every time you get a guess wrong. Oh really? <laughs> well, oh you didn't I've not notice seen then? An ad on the internet in the past <laughs> Dude. maybe five years. I'm sick I mean, of how many birds there are. There's a lot of birds, man. <laughs> on that fucking thing, it's just like which songbird are you trying to tell me, man? Can I can I tell you what I've been going through today? <clears throat> no, yeah, a no. little bit, little bit of a story. So last night, uh, I get a, a notification that I received an e-transfer to my bank for mm. about thirty dollars, and I was like, I don't know who the hell this is. So I just, I was like, okay, I don't know what this is. What's going on? Then I get a text message, you know, a few hours later, that's like, oh hi, you know, I accidentally sent you an e-transfer. Uh, can I, can you return the money? And I'm like. This sounds like a scam. A scam. Yes. Yeah. Sounds like it right. does sound like a right. scam. This sounds scammy. So then I leave a message with my bank. I'm like, you know, I got a transfer. I don't know what this is. Like, am I safe to return the money? Blah, blah, blah. And I wake up and I, I see the, the bank message and they're like, you technically would be safe. Then I get 16 phone calls. Holy. Like 12 voicemails from, you know, who's claiming to be this person's mother. Maybe... 15 text messages the last one being well it's not gonna fly because this mama bear will not let this slide with your name and number that is all i need to pursue this what <laughs> i think i think i have to call the fucking police bro it was 30 dollars no. it's a scam for sure it's 30 dollars they're telling me she's gonna go she's gonna freeze my account no i already called my bank and my <laughs> the person at the bank was like it's 30 bucks <laughs> it's just like just ignore them like this yeah, she left me voicemails going crazy i think i have to call the police no it's just some scam they're just trying to scare you yeah i know but i didn't want to call the police because i'm scared <laughs> they're they're gonna be like we can't do anything about this uh, dude it's crazy i just want to report you, you know to be like <laughs> like this person is fucking she left me like she's like i'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt but this is disgusting you're disgusting, you do motherfucker. You, do you and have I'm a like, common what? Uh, email address? Like, is there any chance it's a real fat finger? No, it's my, 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 they sent it to my phone number. It's oh. possible. It's totally possible that it's a, it's a mistake. But like, is this the approach you would take? Like, would you then call the person and fucking like, call them I... a piece of shit? And like, it's, it's been less than 24 hours since she sent me $30 accidentally. Like, it's crazy. I feel like if I accidentally sent someone money, I wouldn't know their phone number. Well, if it's an accidental number, and then you have a re receipt of where you sent the money. 
But how the fuck do they get your phone number, bro? Well, if somebody's phone number is like one off of mine. Yeah, I it's uh, the banks are all different over so there. Wait, what's the what's the the trick? That does sound like a typical mother though. That, that's, that's, that's it, it as well, right? right? Like, like that's, that's yeah, that's that's, that's like, like I don't, I don't know, know what they're trying, trying to get. get. Which is why I don't even want to like interact with them because it's like I don't want to. I've seen videos before where the scam is they like okay, well I can't really talk because Chibli's talking in the. He's talking over us. Bullied me a little bit. Yeah, that's cool, man. But we're talking in game. Oh, I'm my bad. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I was gonna say that like, I've seen the scam where they like get you to try to like send money back, but they you do it through like a, they basically trick you into thinking that you sent them yeah, a yeah, lot yeah, of yeah. money, and they're yeah. like, oh no, you or you can't do that. You gotta send us this big amount of money back. We you uh -huh. know, and, and this then is only you, thirty bucks though, which is why right. Well, it's it starts at thirty, weird. and then and then oh, when you try to send <laughs> it back, right. they're like, oh, you yeah. know. I just thought I heard about scams where like if you talk to people, they'll like record your voice and use it for some weird shit. I don't want to <laughs> even like interact with this person. <laughs> so they you send bucks? you okay. the money. And then you send it back. I'm, I'm hearing from chat. Apparently, then they dispute the original e-transfer on their end. Yeah. Yeah. Or they spend the 30 bucks on a stolen credit card, and then you send them 30 Ooh. real dollars, mm. and then it's not their money in the first place. Bro, this Bro, is like yeah, a fucking $30? Should we do that? Yeah, this is a crazy hustle for 30 bucks. Yeah, but, yeah, but I it's mean, probably done to like a hundred people. Yeah, they didn't target Maybe. you with a sniper rifle. They probably sent out like a thousand of those yesterday. <clears throat> Maybe. And Mama Bear is all of them don't That shit back. is not Mama. sliding. Mama Bear is coming after me though, bro. She said I have until two p.m. or she's going to the RCMP. Wait, can someone? Like, uh, that like, the Halo. Please? That's like our FBI. <laughs> I need to make. Dude, there's somebody to... else compared it to the FBI. Yeah, she's she's taking your ass to the FBI, bro. Dude, they're also my local police. Oh, that is true, yeah. <laughs> Something else I, I learned yesterday. I mean, you guys, are you guys all aware, are like, familiar with Smokey Robinson? Yes. No. It's like, you know, like, the oldest man on Earth. It's kind of like the original know, famous, Bruno Mars. <laughs> famous oldest musician. man on Earth. He Smokey put out, Robinson. He's, he's 83. He put out an album, I think, last year. You know, you want to know what the title of the album is? It's fucking. It's called Gasms. Oh yeah. His album is called Gasms. His the title track, also called Gasms. I recommend you give it a listen. It is fucking hilarious. It's crazy. You see this on iPhone? Send that today? shit to Mama Bear, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Let me let me <clears throat> let me salute the troops, bro. <laughs> yeah, I got two golden globes right here for you, bro. It, oh, oh, that's God, horrible, so man. Here. I see, I see a Justin. Wait, 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 I have an idea. I have an ERP idea, guys. What is ERP? Okay. Uh, um, Ryan? Okay, so someone, someone come with me. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, who, who wants to be my, who wants to be my act, my actor part partner? Corey? Sure. What am I doing? <clears throat> hey, babe. Come with me. Hey. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, I hate oh, I see you. Already. I see you. Hello. Ah! <laughs> the worst. Like it's like the wrong speed. It's like it's... too slow. <laughs> yeah. Corey, 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 way Corey, too low. It's Corey, not Corey, supposed Corey, to Corey, sound Corey. like that with that slow Corey, of a uh, rhythm. <laughs> I love when you do it slow. <laughs> It's so yeah, hard slower. to get in and out. It's so hard to put up and down. <laughs> slower, yes. Oh, yes. There you go. Now you kind of got it. So this is what we're doing, huh? <laughs> Listen. This is what Chibli is doing. <laughs> you have to, it's the type of game where you have to make your own fun. You know? We are making... Uh, we're making... Uh, jam! Ow. Back here, guys. We're oh, putting jam in okay. the jam jar. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not allowed to pull the lever, but I'm the pot. only person who can pull the lever and get this... Like clown Anyone car parts. Towel? Is there a towel mod yet? Are we on the we right moon, or are you guys gonna? <laughs> my, are you gonna no, kill me if I do, if I pull this lever? It's the right moon. Do Wait, we're on the mad moon? moon. I do have to be right back though. I lock the pipe just to be aware. Uh. Right to your right. Oh god no! 
I got a shovel. There's turrets. There's turrets. Yeah, so what, bro? Justin, how's it going down there? Oh! Ah! I don't know what to do. I'm gonna fuck. Yeah, huh? I'm good. This guy doesn't. He's facing the wrong way. <laughs> That's not like a safe. Thing. You have to say you got to dodge. It's really difficult and then we're gonna go to that here. Hey. Oh. I'm There's gonna a go jump to... that has a gun on it, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it too. It's gonna be amazing. Let's go, Chibli. It's right here. Yup! Yup! Ah! Oh no! What did it send in there? Wow! Oh no. I tried to close the door. <laughs> oh, man. I believe fell in a hole. Oh, he did. He did. Yes. Saved him. He's he's the the pit guy. Oh oh uh uh I'm I'm, 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 I'm I'm freaking out. Hang on, I need to <laughs> evaluate the situation. They're turning off the turret. They're turning off the turret. Ooh, ooh, landmine. This is perfect timing, man. I can finish my oh, food. Sounds like Chibli's still here. What, what'd you get, Tom? Did you get um, sweet and sour chicken on top of uh, french fries? No. <laughs> what is he ordering, British Chinese food? I, I was going off on, on the British today. Dude, it's crazy. Is that a real thing? They well, always deserve it. They oh, would sorry. never oh, give me a straight answer. Yeah. I would I would say, <laughs> like, Chinese. do people order french fries with their Chinese food there? Or I said, do when yes. you order the food, do they ask you if you want fries or rice? And they said no. And I said, do they serve fries with the Chinese food? And they said yes. Like, I was in court. What? That's insane. We, you, uh, get, you get chips. <laughs> I remember buff, like Chinese buffets here also do that when I was younger you could get fries at the buffet and as a child I would I would get the fucking fries bro and then I'd also get <laughs> Sorry, sorry I was at a buffet I was going on, dude. Said Why are you going London to a Chinese restaurant to get this. fries? Yeah, because I was like six years old the takeaway thing not a restaurant thing don't don't do that i said do they do What's that the at difference? chinese restaurants and then they said no and i said where do they do them and they said takeaways and i said all right you so semantic motherfuckers then they're like yeah it doesn't count because they have no chairs and i'm like why are you bringing chairs into what? it bro we're talking about potatoes they also get like stir fried noodles with no vegetables in them whatsoever that is pretty funny and fried rice that's just brown is it really called brown fried rice? That that's really like redund redundant. It is true. I feel like all British food looks so wet. Yes. What? Because all their food is wet. All British food. It does like I I'm sure it tastes good and I would eat it. Um, but it does look like goop on top. It's like wet goop. Hold the Paltrow. Did, Ryan, so have you been seeing the British Chinese takeaway videos? Yes. Where they pour like a bunch of curry sauce on brown food? Yes. So for dinner tonight, me and Connor got a Chinese. So I'm gonna show you what we got. So normal chips, salt and chili chips. Oh my God, they look amazing. Salt and chili, are they chicken bites or what? Chicken bites. Fried rice. Curry sauce for corner. Ew. And plain noodles with no veg. Oh. <coughs> oh my god. Right, so this is corners. I, I honestly wish I like curry sauce. Now look at that, it looks amazing. But I just don't like curry sauce, man. So that's his. And then this is mine. It looks so boring and dry compared to his, but it's so good. And then we've also got prawn crackers as well. They're like, I love a good Chinese. I have seen that. They should change the verbiage as well. Oh, absolutely, yes, yes. That's outdated. Curry sauce is good though. I bet, I bet the dishes are tasty. I mean, people like yeah, to eat things that taste good. good. Yeah, it's just such a, like a... Mm -hmm. Oh, I removal from like what we're used to is like Chinese food I think unless these people are just ordering like brown fried food for the the 
the video. Mm, I see what you're saying. Well, it's, you're saying. it's normally like you get like a sweet and sour pork and then like 25 handfuls of fries. <laughs> and Served then on top fried of rice. fries. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck, it's flooded. No, no, it's just raining, Stick. right? Oh, no, 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 the water rises. Oh, Ryan, it's so deep. <laughs> Maybe, maybe Wait, what we, do we go, do? It's go back go back to the front door and rush for the ship from the high ground. Wait, can we get over the mountain? Uh, uh. Here, here, I'll boost you. I'll boost you. Ah! <laughs> oh! oh my god! I, oh! <laughs> this is like when people fall off Mount Everest. <laughs> you made it! You made it! I think we can go this way. No, 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 here, here. You can just jump on my head. No, no, this way, man! No! No, no, get up, get up! Oh, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't know if I can make that jump, dude. That's like a speedrunner jump. No, you got this. Maybe, I think you can go around in the water, probably. Is it shallow here? Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Hey, it's like we're at the beach. Kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. I think we're gonna die out uh -oh. here. Oh, right there! You see it? Oh, that's a dog! When did uh, Juju Schuster Smith change his name to Juju how they all died. Smith Schuster? It looks like they all fell in a hole. I don't have an answer for you there. Uh, I think I thought I that he got know. like we divorced did. from another Smith and then married a Schuster or something. I don't think it works that way. You talk about heads. Juju. <laughs> when when two people with hyphenated last names get married, what happens? Do they get a double you hyphenated just... last name, or do they? Why would why would they have hyphenated? You take last one. Name? Because they, they, in in the 80s and 90s, it was very common for progressive women to keep their last name when they got married and then hyphenate. And when you got... So when, then when their you kid... Divorced, would you not get rid of that name? Yeah, but what... I no, but with two people with... Because their kid is going to have I a hyphenated Justin. last name. Yeah, and Justin. then what if they marry another person with a hyphenated last name? Why would their kid take the name of the guy that's not their biological... What does this parent? have to do with the... The, 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 the parents are still together, Corey. What? You said they married somebody else with a hyphen. You hyphenate your name when you get married, right? Yes, correct. So then how would two people with hyphenated names get married? That would mean they're still married to somebody else? This dude lives in a world where children do not exist. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get the end of that punchline, but the way you're laughing, it must have been really funny. This guy's lost his mind. He <laughs> did. It's like two words with a thing in the middle. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying. Why would the kid change their name ever? So they would just keep the original. Their, their name original robot. name is hyphenated, bro. Yeah, the kids. Yeah, and then they marry another kid with a hyphenated last name. Oh, got it. We got bigger problems, dude. Oh, I see. I see. Oh. Oh. I'm picking up what you're putting down now. Okay. 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 Bro, I can't believe shit. Corey's been, I don't uh, see anything, this man. Oh, been texting the, the person trying fuck? to scam him, dude. It's so good. What the do you know? Oh, yeah, that's crazy. <clears throat> I got a text. This is maybe like two years um, ago. Yeah, and, give it a uh, kiss. It was a yeah, text it, about, it's good, it's um, good. it said, hey, I, uh, dude, I got it in two the I have that like $5,000 you want. All you have to do is give me the tractor. Can I have your email address? I blocked that shit so fast that I was like, that. You want to do that? There's no shot this is ever going to happen to me in real life. You want to drop it or? Well, just let me know if it's a dead I block people I know if they talk to me too much. All right. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. And the close, the more. 
intertwined like our phones thing? have become thing? in our lives. Thing? Can you the, jump across this gap? The more I yeah. have to set boundaries for who can cause a little vibration to happen in my pocket. Like when a phone used to be something you put in your, your messenger bag and you took with you to school or something, I, acquaintances could text me no problem. I'm telling you, you can do it. Watch, Jim. Now that I, I got that shit I know it's higher. on me all day, there's no I chance, understand. man. I get it. I'm below chip. Uh, two, two guys just killed themselves in a pit oh. there, so... Two guys? Wait, <laughs> you guys... How long have you guys been dead? Three uh, for the pit, then. I heard you talking about way back. people on your cell phone. Oh, okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I dared... I dared okay. Chip I to jump intrigued. over the gap, and then I jumped the same gap. I remember when I got my first ever cell phone. Oh, it was I one just of those phones. I didn't get picked up on the mic. That'd be embarrassing. And uh, my dad and I heard something. Went to a Chinese uh, buffet, mm -hmm. and I got the fries, of, of course. course. Yeah. I hate these. And jumps I so didn't much. know anyone, <laughs> yeah, so I just spent the entire time texting my mom's Fuck. friend. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Polo. I hate that jump, man. <laughs> you, you doesn't your jump gets eaten by the world. You're entering in media res Didn't. here. I'm going to oh, set the stage. Chibli just got his first cell phone. He is at a, yep. a Chinese buffet with his dad, yep. and his he ordered the french fries. Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Yes. And I wanted to look cool with my phone in front of my dad, so mm -hmm. I was texting Only my guys? mother's friend. <laughs> <laughs> Did everyone else die? I had no other numbers, bro. I, I, I want to see those sticks. It's probably like eating the fries so good. No, I'll force the like, to um, the fries again. I love well, French fries, man. I just, I'm not be eating them with Chinese food, to man. Say. That's crazy. I have never I'm heard gonna eat anything. This, uh, this tofu and rice. We uh, go with uh, Chinese food like French mm. fries. When my nieces were be like, a, it's gotta be a cultural thing. They were like five it's and eight or something like that. They got Kate's uh, phone number, and then sh they woke her up at like 7:01 a.m on a Saturday once, and I looked at the chat <laughs> logs, and it was Max literally over. just yep. like 50 yep. straight yep. messages yep. of different emojis. And it was, oh, 50 messages. It was so, so good. I'm a mother bear, you better give me my $30. Exactly, back. yeah. <laughs> it was just like, I don't know, I... it was like dog emoji, fireworks emoji, hospital emoji, like uh, no, stop sign emoji. No, the dog is scared of the fireworks, they have to take them to the vets. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> they, were, they were storytelling, dude. Ooh, man. I never got the. I think I told uh, Chibli and Justin. I, I want like a you know like food challenge. Like here's some ingredients. You got to make a meal out of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I want. I want to give someone literally like bread, rice, and potatoes, and you got to like make a meal out of those three things. Easy. Uh, you know toast, I mean? fried rice. Start toast, fried rice. Wait, where's the you potato? Can't use anything else other than those three ingredients? <laughs> the rice. I think you can. <laughs> I think you can use other ingredients, but not like not too much. You can't like you know. But like one bit I think I could do it. Like, see, I use yeah, I used it. I would it's do like I would do you know when they burn the rice on the bottom of the pan a little bit? Oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I would crispy up the rice, I think. And right. then what about the potatoes and bread? Well potato mashed potato What's on the side, right? that's a given. And then put the rice on the toast or some shit. <laughs> rice sandwich with the mashed potato side. <laughs> <laughs> I, know you'd win I would one. make that like normally, I reckon. Bro, I'll tell you, I open that basket, I see the rice, I see the bread, I see the potatoes. Immediately, I'm thinking, I gotta get that ice cream machine going. I would. I wish I heard what he said so bad. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> That's a joke for people who watch uh, Chopped. Oh, I would make a salad, but instead of lettuce, it's rice, and then I would make uh, croutons out of the bread. And then That's toast fried rice, bro. Is it, is you that stole my you stole my recipe for toast fried rice. <laughs> Mods, who had the idea first? Log into the brains. <laughs> Fuck! What would I do? Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm going grocery shopping today. I'm gonna buy these three things. I'm gonna try it. I thought that was a funny joke, but I don't Careful. think it's got it. So Careful. it must be real. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> who was it? I don't know. I heard. I'll go find out. I'm alive. It must be Chibli then. It's Chib. It's Chib. Where am I? Bro, I'm fucking Can't lost, shit, bro. Oh, 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 what was that? Oh, no, oh, no. Did, Corey? Yeah? Did you hear this dude just got zapped? Ah! 
<laughs> oh, bro! What's wrong? Ah, oh. Open door! Open door! Oh, run! There's no way out, bro. I'm taking it for you, man. I'm taking it for you. I jumped over his head. Ryan, Ryan, I got him. I got him. I think you're hitting him. Wait, where'd he go? He's in the steam. I lost him in the steam. <laughs> Bro, Corey, fucking fell <laughs> over, man. That was horrifying. We're getting the hell out of here, man. We're the last ones left. The fuck? Oh, that was Chibli. That's right. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> this shit got wall zero. hacks, bro. Turns out, turns out zero. Was <laughs> this shit got wall it hacks. Look like you were. Look like you were smacking bullets with the stop sign. I saved <laughs> somebody. Whoever awesome. that was. Oh! oh my god. Apollo's in the same spot oh, now. Oh, bro. He kept shooting them through the wall, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, man. This game's oh, great. Man. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, uh, that was a dog, huh? He doesn't know. Oh. Shut up, Sin Victor! <laughs> Shut up, Sin You were dead to rights, and I. Get back on the ship, Sin Victor! Stop! <laughs> After all the talking we've done, I could really go for like a curry sauce on top of french fries. <laughs> what is Sin doing, bro? He's Fucking a god! Curry sauce, mate! Sin just walked up to that shit and went straight past it. Smacked it on the ass. Smacked Literally. Up. What, right. the, what the hell is that? It's a phone. You haven't seen that yet? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's the thing if you ever hear, like, the, the the scream from, like, scream. It's the phone. Scream from scream. Yeah, I was trying, like, what's her name? Sydney? Sydney. Nev Campbell? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. The dog's up top, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did he get up there? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, juked it though. Man. You did juke it. No, I think, oh, guys. Oh, my stomach, guys. I think it's the last oh, day for me. Like in You're... the real world. It, how uncomfortable like is it on maybe? a scale of from one to ten? Uncomfortable. Well, Imagine how, my how, surprise how when I go on the top there and see a dog it's not waiting that painful, in between but I, the guardrails. Like I feel it. <laughs> you just wanted to see what was up. Jesus. It's way more uncomfortable than painful. Do you have other symptoms? I almost, I felt really sick last night. Did you, uh, have you had a bowel movement in the last 24 hours? I did yesterday and that's when it started after that. What was the, um, on the, on the stool chart, what was it? The, the Bristol Soul Scale? Yeah. It, it, it didn't feel right. It was very, <laughs> um, it was, it, it, it was normal, but it didn't feel right. Like, it didn't feel like my body was doing it properly. I, okay. I see what Corey, you're saying. You okay? Hear me out here. Trapped gas, maybe? They mm -hmm. need a doctor that is urgent, but not an emergency. Because if you go to emergency, they're going to tell you to wait for 17 hours. Because your tummy They hurts. have that. Yeah, but it doesn't work here. <laughs> oh, okay. As Corey will tell you, probably. I've, ne I've never gone to urgent care or an emergency. We went to, when our daughter threw up like eight times in one morning. Emergency. We went to urgent care. We got there at 10.30 a.m. And they said, we're at capacity, but if you come back at 2, we might have uh, some space for you. I said, That's okay. so fucked up. So then, our ass went to the emergency room. And at the emergency room, the doctor was kind of like giving us the vibe of like, this shouldn't be something you're at the emergency room for. And I was like, no shit, I dummy. I hate that so much. That's why, that's why we went to urgent care. I went to the, uh, I went one, one night, my eyes were really sore and like red and fucked up. So I went to the emergency room at like 1 a.m. And they were like, not nah, bro, get the fuck out of here, go down the street. There's a place you can go. I went there, stayed there until like five. 
the doctor saw me he's like you got pink eye man don't know what to tell you and i said nah -uh. i've had this before it's not pink eye and he's like look at this graph i looked at it, he's like it's pink eye and then i went to my actual doctor the next day the guy was like it's not pink eye I was fucking pissed off. bro i, I went to an emergency room i went to an emergency room at 2 a.m for pink eye one time in the states they they fixed me instantly and then gave me a prescription for vicodin yo nice. <laughs> I was, I was like, like oh, roll, the, roll the dice on how to treat you. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, why did you give me a refillable prescription for a narcotic? That's kind of sick. I want to see, I want to see the statistics. I don't know if you could even get these statistics on like the amount of people who go to urgent care who actually need it versus like a hypochondriac like they didn't need it. Oh you know? yeah, I do like, think I, that there's a lot. But also, I'm, I don't know. I get annoyed because I'm like. Is there right? If they, who am I to tell them that they don't feel sick? No, yeah. no, yeah, but like, I feel like if, if one's really bigly, like, for one, it's like, okay, we need more doctors, but if it's the other way around, it's like, okay, we need to teach people how to not think they're dying. I'm on the we need know? more doctors side, for sure. Yep. Yeah. I think you should I'll, be able to realistically see your doctor on, like, or a doctor within, like, three hours. Honestly, we need more nurses, not doctors. We, we need, need everything, I think, honestly. I'm just gonna take a different opinion just to cause an argument. We need less nurses. Oh. We need a Twitch yeah. we need more Twitch streamers. <laughs> we need more, oh, we need more nurses to administer <laughs> tap water instead of medication. We need Oh no. Sorry, sorry, everyone's getting mad at me. We need fewer fewer nurses. <laughs> there you go. Nice, you... nice correction. A pharmacist, do I have to tell you what's up? I feel like I've gone to the pharmacy and you're like, I'm fucked up a bit, and they're like, yeah, I know. But like, do this. They are here, maybe. Uh, now in BC they can. Like, they're- they That's allowed, the life hack, maybe. They allowed them to diagnose, like, uh, small stuff. But as I understand- they treat the pharmacy like an emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the- But don't fall off. The pharmacists are, like, pissed off. Because now they, they were like, we're already busy. And now we've got, like, people coming in that are like, my tummy hurts. Oh, yeah, that's me. I should go to the pharmacy. <laughs> They're going to give me, like, enemas, dude. They're going to be like, yeah, this, this is what you need. You're, you're, you got, like, seven weeks worth of corn in there, dude. You're fucked up. <laughs> Jim, you ever tried any laxatives before? Dude, I remember one time, years and years and years ago, I was meant to have a, like, a little movie night with someone I had a crush on, but I was constipated, and my mumsy bought me a prune juice, and I really liked the taste of it, so I drank all of it, and then I had explosive diarrhea, and I had to cancel, cancel the movie night. Not I have really. a, I actually have a sick idea for a YouTube video, if you guys are down, but you gotta tell me you're down before I tell you what it is. I'm down. Okay. I'm down. We all go to the pharmacy and say we have a colonoscopy tomorrow, so they give you the gallon prep juice, and then okay. we all chug it, and the last person to shit their pants wins. That was like a Mr. Beast video. Dude, yeah. but it would be so funny. Can you imagine? You'd be like, ah, yeah, ow, ow. Any significant oh. impact on finding the colonoscopy. <laughs> oh. Do we have to be in the same room at the same time? We got a what? Do we have to be in the same room at the same yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be sitting time? in like one of those chairs where they like have shackles oh, on the arms, so you gotta like shackle your arms <laughs> to the chair too. You're chained to the chair? Yeah, yeah, you're chained <laughs> to the chair. <laughs> what did we miss? This whole right side. No, I, Corey, I had a great idea for a YouTube video. Yeah, it's right. great. We I'm all go to the pharmacy. Corey, Corey, you have to say, no, 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 oh, sorry, he has sorry. to agree to be in it before, yeah, yeah, sorry, before you, gotta... you explain it to him. Okay. Okay, what? You and then I'm waiting to hear the story. I'll be in it. I'll be in it. Okay. okay. All right, Corey, All right, don't listen. I'll tell it. Okay. We go to the pharmacy and we, like, our individual pharmacies, and we all tell them we have a colonoscopy tomorrow. So they give you the gallon uh -huh. prep juice. And then all of uh -huh. us go in a room and we chug it together, and the last person to shit their pants wins. <laughs> There's nothing in there. There's nothing in I there. I think I'd win easily. Really? I would lose no, for sure. No, dude. I uh, physically cannot shit my pants, even if I tried. No, after you drank Dude, the shit, you would you... lose. I've drank magnesium. No, 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 uh, but this is the before. clinical magnesium antifreeze. I've had a cold house before, you won't be able to resist not... it. Apollo, you don't have to do this, but go like drink two liters of prune juice and just see what happens, bro. I know yeah, there are like, really problems, but that shit... It's like drinking a, like a demon in a vial. Like, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you don't gotta tell me, bro. The last time I took magnesium citrate, it didn't make me shit. It just made my shit the worst experience of my entire life. Dude, to yeah. think though, if we do that like seasonally every year in like oh. 2029, NL's uh, shit off best off compilation. <laughs> That'd be a good one. Yeah. Probably get like two million views. That's a problem. That's a, yeah, another number. He's coming back. Put the door. Get in. Where the hell did he all... get out of here? Is this all fucked? Is this all fucked? There's a there's a way over here. I'm coming. What's over here? I'm shooting my eye, but I'm being really brave about it. This way? Oh, I went over here. I don't think there is anything. There's no fuck man, by the way. Oh, I love a fuck man. I weird, hopelessly turn around. Nah, I'd win. I would definitely win. I... Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in the warehouse. What the fuck? Dude's having a breakdown, man. Dude, I walked right into him. I touched the fuck man, and he, he backed away. You, was that one of you? <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> Get away from me, bro! I can't. I can't help you. I don't have a. Oh, you got a stop sign. Okay, okay. Yeah. There's no stop sign, bro. Whatever. I'd win. Are you... How am I back here? How am I back here? Back here. Brother. I don't understand. Brother. Careful. There's a spider over here. I mean, we have to go this way. I'm gonna jump over him. <sighs> Me too. Ah! <laughs> you motherfucker. Where? Where? Are you dead? I'm alive! Oh my god. Ow! Oh, I'm still alive! Where the? How are we so lost? <laughs> Hello? Holy, where did this come from? Oh, son of a bitch. We're done. It's over. I, I have never been this lost before in my life. Fuck you. Fuck you. How this, am I alive, dude? This is what it's like to be the man in the arena. Three, two, one, nuts on the table. I'm gonna kill you if you don't kill me. I will kill you if you don't kill me. Bro, I'm back in the warehouse. He's not on the ship. <laughs> I am looking for the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, where were we? The new rooms, man. We got screwed. Justin no lived? Where we were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was so embarrassing. Shocks. Yeah, it's over. We lost again? Man, oh. we lost on the first, like, six days. It's oh, embarrassing, bro. We yep. suck. Oh, so We're sad. We're washed. We are washed. How do you get to the... Oh, we really did need up to the here. NL challenge. <laughs> yeah, time to shit. Dude, I'm telling you, win. it would be an insane video. I, I Listen, I don't know if you would win. I know I would lose. But you saying that it oh, doesn't I'd make you poop is crazy. Because that's like... I would absolutely lose. This is literally all it does. That's You don't understand how broken my bowels are. I don't think you understand. You... Doesn't this... It like is like a lock and key mechanism with your your the speed of your colon. It's like it gives your, your poop nos. 
No, I'm yeah, you would not be able to resist that. <laughs> it causes your uh, your thing to just create a bunch of liquid, but you don't understand. Everything's broken down there. It's all blocked up. It doesn't. It, it's not gonna make it go. It's just gonna make my bowels explode. Again, I, it won't, I don't wanna. It won't I don't wanna you. relive the experience I had when I took that magnesium citrate last time. It was uh, it was bad. It was like screaming on the toilet bad. Oh, it was it's like fine. one of the ones where you take your sh you take your shirt off. It was like I wonder <laughs> if I bash my head against the wall. You take your shirt off. Why is yeah, that dude, so sometimes, relatable? Sometimes, sometimes, man. You know, the poop dude, is so bad. So you bad. Take you your gotta, you get you so gotta hot. The stuff off around your ankles. You gotta take the shirt off. Because <laughs> the actually spitting. Dude. I did. I thought that was just a me thing. Oh, That's just how it works, huh? Man, no, I'm... it's so true. <laughs> get so I'm hot, glad man. that's not just me. I thought I was. I thought I was crazy, man. Basically, everything you have to return to, to like. Oh. You gotta return to free <laughs> one like humans. To get it. It's like it's wild because suddenly, like it all just it like it it, it feels wrong, you know? Like you're like. <laughs> Thanks for oh. that. If you've never taken a poop so bad you had to take your shirt off, you've never lived as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you no no, I think it's the opposite. They are living, I think, is what it is. Oh. oh yeah, I wouldn't I remember, wish that upon my worst enemies. I remember one Thanksgiving, uh, as a kid I drank a whole like two liter bottle of apple juice. I didn't know that shit would oh, run no. through you, man. <laughs> I, I was I was pissing out my ass for like the whole night. I'm gonna tell you something. Thanksgiving uh, ruined. I, th I think this is. You're either gonna say I'm insane or I'm the most normal guy of all time. Once you have not met the perfect uh, You wanna wait till after. <laughs> yeah. You, you gotta be quick, quick dude. <laughs> Welcome Hang to our disciplinary process. Yay! Woo! Can you hear me? Oh, okay. <laughs> In your own private bathroom. Mm hmm. Take your pants and underwear off to take a dump. It's so freeing uh -huh. to be able to, like, stretch your legs more than the oh, yeah. angle that you can stretch them when you're wearing jeans. Okay, everyone says I'm how, normal. Okay, just checking. How, how far are you stretching your legs? <laughs> stretching your legs? Well, you know, like, like yeah, well, I, how increasing. Big is the bathroom, man. You might be rich posting right now. Dude, what? I, I, I'm he did say his own private bathroom. Okay? What are you so talking about? No, I'm saying in, contra in comparison, like, don't go to the Denny's and take your pants off in the stall. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Hanging pants I'm not rich posting. You can, you can fit your pants on the floor of the bathroom. That's insane. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what you mean by stretching your legs. Okay. Also short posting too, I think. I well, think that might just be like, true. Like, like spread them wider, no? Yes. Because your pants, oh, okay. when your pants, your pants are at your ankles, you can only stretch Pumps. them up to the, <laughs> up to the level of the the denim. But if you take the denim He's off, so you can stretch it a little fancy, further. Dude. This is not okay. I'm rich, but that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> when you take your pants off in the luxury bathroom, it has nothing to dude, do. I your remember... bathroom is big enough to because your pants are on your body when you go in the room. It's like Isaac uh, Newton would tell you that your pants can fit in the bathroom by necessity. I'm gar I'm betting I have the smallest toilet hair, and I agree I think it's possible. I've you done agree it. with yourself? Do you the smallest about, toilet are you or talking about stretching your legs straight? Or no, like, no, no. Increasing the angle between that your two legs like, make with your pelvis. Like man spreading, but on the toilet. Yes. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like you're stretching am, your legs out straight, doing like freaking. But, but if you if you oh, go no, too kind of, far, I feel like that's counterproductive. If you go too far, <laughs> yeah, I can't poop with my feet not in the air or not not on the ground. <laughs> like if my feet were in the air, I don't think I could I could poop. The denim limited angle for your legs limits the uh, aperture that the poop comes out of. But also, if you if you increase the angle too much, like if, I would say, if you take it past like a hundred degrees, I think that the cheeks start squeezing the aperture too, and then it also 100? causes like compressions. Straight sideways? That that's, that would be hundred and eighty. <laughs> that would be that would be a sumo a sumo shit. If you go this way, ninety is this way. Yeah. So a hundred, your legs are like this way. A hundred is like just a little warm. bit past ninety. Yeah. Yeah. So your legs are behind your. <laughs> I didn't even get my legs to what ninety. What are you talking man. about? You can't get I your mean, legs to ninety. What are you talking about? I'm sitting on the toilet like this. 
of my legs no, I'm doing it not right turned now. at all this straight. You're sitting on the toilet? No, I'm no, no. The <laughs> hypothetical. Like a freak. Hypothetical legs. I think we all okay. Are. <laughs> Ninety degrees. The legs are here, right? The knees face this way, straight right. Well, and one would be one would be straight forward, and right one would Chip. be ten, ten degrees, degrees. Not right. very many degrees, Chip. Yeah, it's not. One at time all. is three percent. One time I. One time I was trying to recreate a squatty potty in my own bathroom, so I just put my feet up on the door because the door is right in front of the toilet. So I just wait. What? Oh, oh I see. I Were see, you I balancing see. Oh, like on I put the my knob? Feet or... Yeah, 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 I didn't. Yeah, pretty. You don't much. want your feet out with a squatty potty. You want your 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 well, knees it higher. Was a, it was a dire <laughs> situation. I needed to do something different, oh, so no. I put my feet up on the door, dude. Was the shirt off? Yep. Didn't work. <laughs> oh, no, nothing worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, it was a great uh, lethal yes. lobby, everyone. <laughs> good gaming, good gaming. Good game. Great good gaming. Games. Good game. Oh, oh, great games. Man. This is like my family's Thanksgiving dinner, man. <laughs> in in what way? Shit, really? We always talk about shit. Yeah. What would it be? That, not my, my brother's mother-in-law. I don't know what the hell I would refer to her as. She was like... Mm, TMI, too much information. Can we stop, please? Can we? Oh, God. Oh, the whole time. The whole day. Hey, you, hate, like, oh. you hate her. Oh, oh, Your mother in law? Did put on that oh. voice, man. Holy. Not my mother in law. My brother's oh. mother in law. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh, oh. Putting her on blast. Too much information. You fucking oh. do hate her, actually. I was joking, but you just going there going. Mm. Oh. When I was on the cruise to Italy, we didn't. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, <laughs> All right, see you guys later. All right, later. Bye. Uh, I gotta go to the freaking. Oh, I gotta go to the passport office. My passport expires in like three months. So, in order to get it in time, my ass gotta go to the passport office. Why don't you just do it by mail? What if, what if they don't get it in time, you know? I was kind of losing it. I figured I, I did it in an appropriate uh, time frame because it doesn't expire for almost three months. They said, um, you can just print out the forms and sign the forms and then take it to our office with an appointment. And I said, okay, when's the next appointment? Every single one was like the day my passport expires. I was like, they got this shit booked up for three months to renew the passport. Is it possible that our, our country is just broken? Or maybe like the whole continent is broken. I feel like things, ever since the pandemic, things are not working the way they were built to work, which was obviously idealistic, but not even working like even close to the level that was already bad that they were working at in like 2019. It feels like the services ain't servicing anymore. Well, that's not true. The mail keeps coming. Kind of makes you wonder what they're doing with the taxes. Listen, can we have a serious discussion? I'm not anti-tax. I need someone to explain to me how the country runs a deficit every year. So just, obviously something's wrong with my logic. Explain to me how this happens. Let's say person A makes $100. Immediately, $52 of that goes for income tax. We're saying person A is in the top tax bracket. With the remaining $48, you buy something, you pay 14% sales tax on it. That's like another, I don't know, like seven bucks that goes to the government. And then the person that you bought the shit from pays business tax on the $42 that they received. So it's like another $4 or something that goes to the government. And then when they take it as income, they pay like another half of that to the government, which takes them down to like 12 bucks. And then when they buy something, they pay 14% tax on it. That's like another 94 cents that goes to the government. And then the person who got the 94 cents has to pay business tax on that. And then when they take it as salary, they've got to give 50% to the government. And then when they buy something, it's... So, I, I, listen, I haven't followed the numbers here, okay? But I feel like for every $100 printed on planet Earth, or at least in Canada they make like a million dollars in tax, which is great. That seems like a financial innovation to me. That with one little piece of paper, all of a sudden we're generating like value throughout the system that can fund your hospitals and your roads and stuff like that. 
But like it's it's an infinite money glitch. Where are you getting that there's extra money? Because then the government takes the money and then they give it to you and then you spend the money and you give it to them and the person you spend it to gives it to them. They take a, they were like we got a hundred million dollars we're gonna get, we're gonna build a hospital and then all the people that are building the hospital get a paycheck and then they go ah not so fast and they take a little bit back and then the people that got the paycheck cash it and then they buy something and the person they bought it from has to pay them some tax it's it's crazy man as far as i'm con uh, concerned every one dollars printed into the economy actually gets force multiplied like if you've got a, a if you look at a one dollar bill and it was printed in 1980, that has actually paid for a, like an entire fighter jet. That $1 printed has been taxed up to like 132 million times, which is, again, is great. Maybe not the fighter jets, but is great. But why are we broke, man? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. We need to make a self-sustaining economy like Dave and Buster's. That's what I'm saying, I think. Dio Guiga, are you still here? Back me up on this. If I buy bread from you for a dollar and then you turn around and buy shoes from me for a dollar, did we double the money? No. But we did get taxed twice. So in the government's eyes, they doubled the money. You did double the GDP. That's true. <laughs> the economy is kind of crazy when you think about it. Yeah, the money keeps moving, dude. It's, it's like a washing machine of money, but not money laundering. It's two different things. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's, it's crazy. That I thought I was just buying, you know, a pack of gum or something like that at the grocery store. But instead, I'm just the newest link in a chain that goes back to fucking Cicero or something like that. Like every ducat that King Henry VIII printed... How many like uh, livres did that generate for the, the French crown? That's why when everyone saves, total savings go down because the money ain't schmoovin'. So you're saying that buying things is basically like a heroic action. Like the best thing that you can do for your country is purchase something, especially if you buy it off something who's then going to buy something else. If you buy something from someone and then they just bury the money in their yard, that's treason. But if you buy it from somebody and then they, if you buy a, a baklava and then the baklava guy goes out and is like, I'm trading four baklavas for a t-shirt. And then the t-shirt guy is like, I'm full on t-shirts, but I need socks. And he goes and buys a 12 packs of, of socks. That's how we all, that's how we keep this show on the road. Cause it's like the same, you know, $10 that's getting passed around that, that, that just gave like eight people jobs. They can support their families and, and pay their rent. That's, that's like a, that doesn't make any sense, man, but it must be. Yeah, if you buy a Counter-Strike skin and you use it in the game, you're killing the economy. Although I basically assume anytime you buy a Counter-Strike skin, you've made a, a, a wound in America because you're taking your money from America. You are giving Valve 30%, but they're based in Luxembourg. Gaben probably spends some of the money in Washington State, though. Um, and then inevitably, you're buying it from someone who lives in Vilnius. So it's good. It's, you know, it's uh, the velocity of money is taking it to the Baltic states. But state tax applies. Who's going to tell them about Washington? You ever drive on a road in Washington? You can't forget that that state doesn't have state income tax. And to buy some stuff. I'll get like a, a Samit or something. Before I pick up my daughter from daycare. I'm a hero. Not Schmidt. That's a different thing. Although maybe. Wait, excuse me? <laughs> who's, in my, who's in my Discord server? It's the Bracken? Don't start the singing, then you can't stop. So true. When you were young, you were the king of Austin Powers. And now you kidnap Nigel Powers as his foe to get... The man of mystery to show. This is the room one afternoon where Fat Bastard ate you. And how Felicity Shagwell shagged him real well. To place a homing device where no one dared to dwell.